Hey everybody, welcome to RemTV and welcome back to my MLB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 19, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for the playlist on my channel. And here we are for this June 1st game. It is the beginning of the month, so we will do a quick summary of what's going on in the league. Uh, so for the National League, we got Matt Carpenter leading the way with batting average, hits, um, and then we got Christian Yelich leading the way with doubles, Chris Taylor with four triples, Christian Yelich again with 17 home runs, and then we have Marcel Zuna leading the way with 52 RBIs. Let's take a look at the pitching here. Uh, Walker Bueller is the leading the National League with eight wins. Um, Felipe, Felipe Vasquez with 18 saves. Luke Weaver with a top ERA with a two ERA. And let's see, let's see. What else we got here? Strikeouts is also by Walker, uh, Walker Bueller. 97 strikeouts followed by the Mets Jacob DeGrom. Let's see, let's see what else we got here. And in terms of the awards, uh, we got Marcelo Zuna as the leading way of the MVP this year, batting 350, 15 home runs, 52 RBIs. What a stat line. But Matt Carpenter is not that far away from him either. Batting 351, uh, 15 home runs, and 51 RBIs. Uh, and then for the Cy Young Award, you got Walker Bueller, 8 and 1, 2.2 ERA with 97 strikeouts, as I mentioned earlier. Matt Carpenter. Uh, looks like he might be winning the batting title right now. Felipe Vasquez, the reliever of the year award. And then we got Pete Alonso leading the way, possibly for the rookie of the year. But we got Kbert Ruiz, who's batting 295 with four home runs, 11 RBIs. So we gotta keep it up with, uh, we gotta keep it up with Pete and try to get with that W. And we'll go through all this area here. And that's really it. And I forgot to actually check the American League uh, batting average leaders. We got Lurie Garcia batting 347. Mike Trout obviously leading with hits. Uh, Andreton uh, Simmons leads with doubles. Billy Hamilton with five triples uh, for home runs. We got Randall Grychuk with 20 home runs. Evan Encarnacion with 50 RBIs. And then for uh, pitching. We got Tyler Skaggs, 10 wins already. That's amazing. Uh, Willie Harris with 23 saves. Rick Porcello with a 1.4 ERA. I actually have a chance to get him if I offer, um, I think, Julius Familia. So uh, we'll take a look. We'll, I'll wait a little bit longer for that. Uh, for strikeouts, we got Gary Cole with 90 strikeouts. For the rewards, let's take a look at it. For the National League, we have Mookie Betts uh, trying to win a back-to-back -back MVPs, batting 317, 14 home runs, 49 RBIs. Uh, but we got Mike Trout, who's right behind him with 339 batting average, 13 home runs, and 45 RBIs. To be honest with the batting average, I would give it to Mike Trout. Um, Cy Young, Tyler Skaggs, 10 and 1, 2.9 ERA with 78 strikeouts. Adding title to Lurie Garcia, 347. And then reliever, reliever of the year for American League, uh, Kevin McCarthy with 17 saves, five strikeouts, no ERA. Uh, rookie of the year, you know Diaz, 2.3 er, uh, average, four home runs, 19 RBIs. And let's just go through all this um, Golden Gloves, uh, Silver Slogan Awards, yada yada. Let's go through all this stuff. And so, in terms of the standings, Mets are three games out of first place in the NL East. Uh, Nationals are leading with a 34 and 24 record, which is crazy to me. Uh, we got uh, the Pirates leading Central, Rockies leading the West, we got the Phillies and the Reds in first, second place, the wild card in terms of the American League East. Mets, I mean, sorry, uh, the Yankees are winning 38 to 21. They're actually leading the East. Um, for the four and a half games with the Red Sox Central. We got the Indians with 36 to 22. Then we got the West uh, with 38 and 21 record by the Astros. 
So we will go into our first game of June. We got Zach Wheeler versus Luke Weaver. Uh, he's that pitcher with a two ERA, which is amazing. But we're gonna quick manage it and see what we can do. Maybe we can beat him. Let's see. To manage. Let's give Jed a day off. Put in with Todd Frazier. Switch the lineups a little bit. We're looking a little tired, so we will put in Garas. Look at all these snowflakes, though, man. They're all cold. Ugh. Okay. So far, pretty quiet night for both teams. Especially quiet for the Mets. We'll have those double, Escort is double, drives in the run. Walker, bunt, strike out. So let's go straight now. The guards with a single. Alright. Uh, and run. Alright, there you go. A single by Broxton. Ties things up by one. Uh, Frazier with a single. Gets the lead 2-1, uh, we're going to try to bunt over Broxton and Frazier and we do a sack bunt, alright, Jeff McLean with a ground out, so we still have the lead though, 2-1, uh, oh there's Canola with the home run, I'm sorry, no, it's all over, home run, we're up 3-1, so far it really looks okay, might be, probably going to be the last pitcher, or uh, last batter of the evening, and that is... With a walk, rocks in with a two run home run, two to uh, five one Mets. I cannot talk today. Rocks in two for three in the game. We got walked by Frazier. We're gonna do a pinch hit with Conforto. Two run home run. It's seven to one Mets. So it's two walks, two two run home runs for the Mets this inning. Still no outs. Uh. Alright. Everything looks so good right now. Sack five of rocks then. That's eight on meds. Burnett pitch. Why not? Rub it one. Mets win 8 to 1 uh, with Zach Wheel on the mound. He's now 6 and 3. Sean Burnett came in with a save. But, anyway, uh, Kian Broxton, the play of the game, 4 RBIs and a home run. And a run scored. Next player up we have is Dallas Keuchel, who will be facing against uh, Andreessy. I think his name is 5 and 1. Just a quick, quick manage here. So. On here. Let's go Keiko will win this game. So I'm gonna tire. Let's put in Darno. Should be okay. Let's put in Frazier. Put in Alonzo. Let's go. Let's go by No. Play. Amazing. Fly, they're up one nothing. Go by 
No. <laughs> Frazier. Alright. Probably meant to put pink cheddar, but all right. <laughs> uh, let's tie things up with Suicide Squeeze. One run scored. Kaiko moves to second. And let's do a pigeon chain here. Put a Lugo. Single by Frazier. Single by Saspidus. Single by Broxton. Typical. Two and twenty-eight. Uh, let's check out the standings here. When they're still two and a half back of the Nationals, the Phillies are one one game back. So, damn! I thought that's a game we could have won. But we don't want the loss. Yeah, good game. The next game we're playing is gonna be in New York against San Francisco, twenty-one to thirty-eight. Looking for win number six for the Grom. Hopefully we can get Derek Rodriguez, who is 0-9 with a 6 in uh, RA. So, yeah, hope you guys en I thought I was done with recording, but I'm not. I'm sorry. Um, but I'll see you guys in New York. 93-96. Running two to Cameron Maven. And a really good change of what makes him so good. Deals. He'll throw all three of his pitches at any time. Ground ball right side. Second base, no. To Alonzo for out number one. Rocking the 64 jerseys here. So there's no names in the back. Keeping it simple. Let's see who gets out. We'll take a look at the lineup for the Giants. We got Kevin Maven followed by Jorah Parra, Brandon Belt, Chris Shaw, Buster Posey, of course, the catcher, Joe Panic, Evan Longoria, Brandon Crawford, and the pitch stop with Ty Black. Or Blatch, not sure. Hey, that two, two seam fastball two, is going to be the be all end all of this game. Right Got him a high fastball. So kind of froze him. Be able to keep going to that and that's out number two in the, the first. So he froze him for the strikeout. Brandon Shit. Belt goes down for out number two in the top half. You got him. In time as he just gets all right, the there you go. Wild pitch into uh, out at second base and ending the inning. What a stop. Brandon Crawford. Oh, that ends the inning. One and two to Shaw. Start the second inning. Swing and Swing miss, miss on a fast while I was inside. That's a shot by Conforto. Oh. And That's he's gonna make the catch on the warning it. track. <laughs> running right, right up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. There's oh a boy. And a ball hit in the air and a ball that is a home run to Brandon Crawford. San Fran's gonna be up to nothing here in the third it's inning. Got a swing and a miss for Brandon Belt. That's the end of the inning, but that home run by Brandon Crawford gives the Giants a 2 nothing lead. Joe Panic is on deck. Line drive the left. That gets down, he's got himself a base hit. There's a double by 
Buster and Posey in at second base. Uh, one out one here out in the hole. fourth well, inning. Definitely not uh, out the second extra base hit that, that DeGrom has given up. Back-to-back be -back innings. Strand is to Brennan Crawford. And the inning. A loop to left, and it drops. And for a base hit. All right, so that's the Mets' first base runner of the game. A looper by Jeff McNeil. Into the box now, Robinson Cano. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Maddie, expect this pitcher back to, to back base hits. So there's right runners at first and second. McNeil and Cano the with the big guy, the polar bear, Pete Alonso up next. Standing in to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving. That is out of here. The Mets are going to grab the lead. Three to two. And that hits that that restaurant with the glass. Oh my gosh, what a shot by Pete Alonso. That's number eight in the year. Again, the Mets take the lead three to two with the exit velocity of 105.7. We have to take a look at it on replay. That hung in there. I saw it. It looked like a giant beach ball to me. And it just jumped right on it. Pete Alonso showing his power. Boy, talk about how boy oh boy. Away from your right Not even a full swing. He said, I got it. As soon as it made contact. Estimated 424 feet. Really what a bomb by Polar Bear. This is Wilson Ramos driving to right field. And it's out of here. That's a solo shot by Wilson Ramos. All year he's been hitting it in the opposite direction for me. I'm not sure if, uh, if it's just a characteristic from just always late on everything. But he was able to finally drive it to right it field in City Field and hit that solo shot. It's going to be four to two Mets, two outs here in the fourth. So the Grom has a little bit of a breathing room. As the Mets take a bigger lead. Three and two pitch. Line drive to center field. Hit no rob by by Cameron Maybin. Good catch. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball. Hit foul and back out of play. Joe Panic. Two and two. Ground throws. Got him with a slider that froze him. And now a slider in there. As the ground's fifth strike out of the night, and that was a big one. That he wisely lays off here. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. That guy Longoria with a change up inning over. Uh, unless something crazy happens, I think it's going to be the Grom's last inning. I'm not sure. I might put him in the seventh if he puts on a base run. Ooh, great snag by Longoria, robbing Peter Alonso of at least a double. Ball. Out, of ball. out at second, out at first. That is a big double play, putting in Lugo, producing that double play and the seventh inning. This is Wilson Ramos going opposite direction again. Could this be? It's going to be a double. Feels slower. This might be a triple. Add the hell with they'll push it. And he's going to be safe at third. That is a triple for the very, very, very slow Wilson Ramos. That might be the first of his career. I'm not even sure. Oh, wow. If he, I feel did not lose that ball, that would have been just a double, but I pushed it to third. Why not? Wow. Wilson Ramos with a triple. Into the box now, Jed Lowry, line toward. That's right gonna be a base hit, right? Okay, okay that's all right. It's gonna drive into Ramos. It's gonna be a sacrifice for Jed Lowry. And it's gonna be five to two Mets. He wouldn't be able to complain about it. Look at that stat on top. Giants are 0 and 8 with runners in scoring position. Big, big pitch. Hit in the air toward the gap. This is gonna right be a pop out. It's gonna be 0 4 and. Oh my gosh, Gomez doesn't get it! 
Full too soon, not sure if that's going to be an error, but it's going to be 5 to 3. With that, not sure. RBI double, I just guess I couldn't reach it with Gomez. Struck him out, that is Maven swinging on the two seam fastball for out number two in the ninth. I don't know what Maven's complaining about, but big strikeout for Diaz and the Mets. Rounder, short stop. Both well, throw, but Pete is able to recover, and it's ball game over. Mets win five to three due to the bats. Pete Alonso and Wilson Ramos with the opposite field solo home run. The Grom able to bounce back after that idiocy that I did and letting them go for an extra inning or two. Um, but that is ball game. Um, a little tidbit here: Carlos Gomez did debut for the Mets, but going over. So we had to leave over four to try to find his groove in the, so in the team. So Mets win, big win for the Mets. Start the, uh, start the series. Uh, as you can see, Jacob Grun going six innings, uh, six hits, six strikeouts to earn one few walks. I'll pair the game with Wilson Ramos batting two for three, uh, home run and a triple, the strike a triple. And uh, Pete Alonso following up with a 1-4 game with that soul, uh, that three-run home run. It's very big for the Mets, but five runs, seven hits, one error uh, for the Mets. And that's going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed this um, episode of my um, MLB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. If you like yourself, click the thumbs up button. Leave in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and... Peace.